Pisces, hi, Maya here, and this is uh, your love reading for October 2021. So let's get right into it, Pisces. Um, I was meditating on your energy before turning on the camera, and I got this image of a black hole, you know, um, a black hole in space, and I was seeing it as a, a graphic where there was this hole and then the sides uh, were like uh, a grid, uh, a grid with like um, um, white squares. <laughs> and I got the sentence, um, a well of pure possibility, a field of infinite possibilities. Uh, a well of pure potential, a field of infinite possibilities. So it's like there's some kind of big, big opening we know that black holes have so much energy in them, right? It's like, you know, <laughs> an inordinate amount of energy and uh, where all the field of, possi of possibilities um, exists, right? And that's what I got. This is exactly the image and the sentence, the, the words that I got. So let's see uh, how this translates in your reading. So uh, I'm going to start by doing a quick pass spread and then I'll do a spread for you and one for your person. So let's get right into it. So Pisces, you've got the moon, your card, your major arcana, justice, card of Libra, king of wands, and the knight of swords. Yes. So let me just get um, a clarification for each, each one of those. Wow, and um, bottom of the deck, you've got the lovers. So, Pisces, I see you, you know, this is the moon, this is your card, this is your major arcana, and the moon speaks of the unconscious, of intuition, of the ebb and flow of the subconscious, right? Uh, it can talk about illusions, about shadowy aspects, about not really seeing things clear. It does talk about illusions, right? A mirage. And um, what I'm getting is for a long time concerning a relationship or your love life in general, uh, you were uh, a little bit in the dark, not knowing. Uh, not I, what I'm getting is you don't, you didn't even uh, know how to feel about a certain relationship or about your love life in general. You, it was a little bit foggy around your emotions, um, your emotions around love. And it's like you're moving away from that. You're moving away from troubled emotions having to do with your love life or a particular relationship. And um, it's like there were traumas in the past concerning your love life. And now in October, it seems like you're going into smooth sailing. You're going, you're, you're going away from um, moving away from these troubled waters into smooth sailing. And I'm saying that because you've got the Justice card as well, which is always a restoration of balance, a major arcana card of Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. And there's a truth coming out, clarity being restored, good karma coming your way after you are able to leave all the, uh, the emotional uh, baggage around love behind you with the Ten of Wands. It's a card of completion. It does indicate all these experiences that we've had in love, in this case, right, around love, around your love life, all these experiences that were learned lessons over time, but now, uh, and that were overwhelming you uh, to a certain extent, really bending your back. But now you have a destination clear in sight, <clears throat> and uh, you will be able to leave all these uh, experiences behind you, leave them in the past, and with justice, of course, it's a restoration of balance. Balance being restored, it's good karma coming to you, and it's po possibilities opening up like I was seeing in your vision. It's all this, this black hole representing all, you know, this infinite field of possibilities, and all the, it's like a pure potential opening up um, in your love life for um, those I'm reading for here. <laughs> Sorry, my dog wants to go out, so I, I'm going to have to pass in front of the camera. Sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Sorry, Pisces. Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, so this this pure field of potential, uh, this this well of pure potential that I was seeing in your vision, you know, it really comes after a time where you couldn't see a way forward in um, in love. You couldn't see where you're going. Basically, you know, it's uh, you you were very foggy and coming out of maybe a lot of illusions around love. When I say illusions, it's not it's not like you were you know maybe you were daydreaming about stuff, but that's not the point. The point is sometimes uh, while we're evolving around our emotions, uh, we can for a certain amount of time. Uh, believe in things it has to do with your belief systems and then just because we move away from troubled waters from troubled emotions and are able to uh, leave the, all the emotional baggage behind then things become much clearer and some things do appear like il past illusions right that's what's happening here and i'm seeing a person this king of wands, uh, not gender specific, somebody who's extremely passionate about you, somebody who is very eccentric, very in the most beautiful way, very creative, somebody who has a lot of passion and fire for you guys, could be a Leo. And this person wants to communicate with you, with the messenger here. <clears throat> I feel um, there's a very quick progress coming with the Knight of Swords. Uh, to me, uh, nights sometimes indicate progression in a certain situation, and that's exactly how I'm reading it here. And um, this rush of energy is coming to, uh, you know, do away or sort of transcend uh, sadness, depression, grieving that you had around your love life that we saw with the moon. Uh, and the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Some, you know, you were uh, concerning your love life in general or a particular relationship. You thought there was too much water under the bridge. Maybe you completely give up on finding uh, a person or on a certain relationship. And you're not seeing these two cups that are completely filled behind you and that do represent this infinite field of possibilities, basically, around your love life. You were not seeing that. So this rush of emotion comes in and now it's again time for clarity, time for sp uh, truth to be spoken, time to address things head on and to see things very clearly. clearly. And we have also the lovers, <clears throat> so uh, divine counterparts here, card of Gemini could be dealing with a Gemini. So this uh, balance that is restored as we saw with justice. My dog is just um, all over the place. I don't know what to do. Um, should I go open up the door? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna keep on going and see if she still uh, wants to come in. So divine counterparts, this deep, deep soul bond that is overseen, protected by the universe. Uh, could be twin flame, could be soulmates. Doesn't have to be. It's just a very, very deep soul bond here. And it's like you're dropping into your heart after being in your in your uh, mind a lot, you know, a lot of searching in the mind, in the mental body, around love. It's like now you're able to drop into your heart and make choices from a heart-based space. So that's in the past. Let's see. Um, let's go deeper and see um, what happens with your current energies. So Pisces, I'm going to do your spread on the right hand side and your person on the left. Please feel free to switch sides if one of them speaks to your situation more than the other. And also remember, uh, it is a general reading, so it might not resonate all the way, maybe not at all. So take what resonates for you. And again, remember, it's not gender specific and it's completely interchangeable. All right. So the way you're showing up, Pisces, is the Ace of Swords. The way you feel about your person is the Page of Cups. Uh, the way you think of them is the Five of Wands. And the way you feel about the whole situation is the Star. Yes, let me see. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, and bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles you have two aces so far pisces and now i'll do your person with a different deck 
to see mirroring energies between you guys, if there are any. So the way your person is showing up is the Ace of Cups. Wow, two aces, two aces representing you and your person. Wow, talk about infinite field of possibilities here. Um, the way they feel about you is the Queen of Cups and you have the Queen of Cups as well. So major mirroring energy here. The way they think of you is the Five of um, Swords. And the way they feel about the whole situation is the Eight of Pentacles. Let me clarify the eight, uh, the Five of um, Swords. Yeah, wow, what I'm seeing, and we have the Six of Wands, bottom of the deck. It's funny, um, what I'm seeing is a lot of conflict in the mind regarding your thoughts, uh, uh, whether you or your person um, in your thoughts, you're extremely uh, conflicted, but in your feelings, uh, you're absolutely there, <laughs> uh, absolutely clear. So it's like there's still some mental, uh, some doubts, uh, some um, anxious thoughts about a certain relationships, about your love or your love life in general. Uh, but in the feelings are there, right? If that makes sense. So let me start with you. Pisces, you have the Ace of Swords, uh, yes, <laughs> the Ace of Swords, so absolutely beautiful, this clarity that you're gaining, um, there's uh, this aha moment, this epiphany uh, that I was getting uh, in your past spread, after a long time of being in the shadow, in the dark about your love life or a particular relationship with the moon, uh, you're moving away with, uh, from that with the Six of Swords that is appearing again for you here. So getting away from these troubled waters, these troubled emotions around love, and you have this breakthrough, uh, triumph, triumph um, epiphany, you know, alignment all the way from your earth star chakra to, to your crown. There's alignment that you get around a particular relationship or your love life in general. Because I'm seeing two scenarios here. It's either you're single and you're getting out of... Uh, a period where you could not see yourself with anyone where you were just on your own and could not uh, see yourself with uh, you know starting a relationship in any shape way or form or uh, the, uh, you uh, are uh, you have a relationship in mind that is in separation and that is coming back around I can see these two scenarios so let's start uh, with um, the first scenario where uh, where you couldn't you couldn't for the longest time couldn't see yourself with anyone really you know you were okay being single uh, you were doing your own stuff you were going about your own life and absolutely not ready basically for a relationship or to start something uh, serious with anyone okay um, and it's like you were questioning yourself a lot about love what you want, what you don't want, if you're even capable of starting a new relationship. Uh, and there's clarity that is being gained uh, around all these questions. There are answers that are coming to you in October around this. And uh, it's like you are, after a time, as I said, where you were not ready and not seeing a way forward at all in your love life, this mental prison, you're stuck, uh, your emotions were stuck around love, um, around being able to be with someone, uh, give up your singlehood basically, give up your own uh, comfort as uh, a person, as um, a single individual. Well now maybe there's a start of an inkling <laughs> that you might uh, actually uh, want a start, a small start, maybe um, just start dating or just starting even 
getting comfortable with the idea that you could have a new start in love. Uh, you know, these are pages of very young energy, so it's just the inkling, the instigation of you maybe wanting to receive and give love and anchor it again in your physical life after a time where for you it was an impossibility. And now it's this field of um, uh, infinite possibilities that is just open up, opening up like this black hole that I was seeing for you. The way you think of this whole thing is, yeah, you are, you're conflicted about love, that's for sure. Uh, in the first scenario I'm talking about, you uh, for love uh, for you uh, was uh, a source of conflict, a source of competition. Maybe uh, people getting into your business and you don't like that. And I know Pisces hates that. <laughs> and just um, a source of conflict and a source of heartbreak. But again, there's this, with the Queen of Cups, there's again, you know, it's like you're looking at this cup. It's the only cup that is covered in the whole deck. So it's like, again, this infinite field of possibility, this pure potential that you're looking at now and thinking, hmm... Maybe I might uh, <laughs> I might take a chance again or just starting in your emotions, you know, starting to nurture this idea of maybe uh, uh, getting back on the horse, basically, you know what I mean? Um, try your luck again, if that makes sense. The way you feel about the whole situation is, again, this alignment. You are extremely aligned with your own self, with the star, Major Arcana of Aquarius. So it's like you've had a very deep healing around love all this time of you being alone. Um, it's like you, uh, you took the time to heal around love, to be aligned with your own self before you could be aligned with someone else um, like we saw with the lovers in the past spread uh, being able to drop into your heart again and make choices from uh, an emotional space from your heart and so uh, you got this balance between your emotions and your physical life you you know this uh, beautiful woman uh, naked represents total healing she is so healed uh, she has nothing to hide she can be seen as completely naked as completely vulnerable and that's the big healing that happened for you around your love life and you needed to get to that space to sort of contemplate again um you know uh getting back uh into relationship mode basically and we see this Ace of Pentacles. You have two Aces, uh, Pisces. So this really big breakthrough, this clarity that comes to you in your thoughts. And also this new beginning that is being anchored in your uh, love life, uh, in your physical life and in your love life. Yes, um, you know, we go from uh, the small page to the full-fledged uh, Ace of Pentacles here. Sorry, I have to get it. And just uh, so these two is indicating really new beginnings, this infinite field of possibilities uh, that is really starting for you in October around your love life. OK, so that's the first scenario. The second scenario is if you were uh, in a relationship that is in separation and getting again clarity about how you feel about this situation, about how you feel about this past person. Um, Again, after a long time of a mental prison, being stuck, not seeing a way forward in this situation, because I think you are not in contact with this person, uh, you are ready for a new beginning um, around this particular relationship. You're thinking about your person lovingly, and you would like um, to uh, sort of uh, a small ca contact in the physical with them. Um, yes. Uh, this, uh, you know, um, this relationship went into separation because there was a, a lot of heartbreak, because there was a lot of conflict and competition around it. Again, I, I feel people uh, really um, getting into into uh, your guys' business or uh, maybe your person was listening to people uh, too much uh, around this and it led to a lot of heartbreak, but you're still contemplating you're still nurturing you still have unconditional love for uh, this past person um, the way you think of the whole situation is that you want healing it's a wish come true for you 
and uh, there's a very big possibility of a new beginning in the physical. So now let's get to your person. Your person is showing up as the Ace of Cups. So you are showing up as the Ace of Swords and your person as the Ace of Cups. So lots of new beginnings. Uh, again, this infinite field of possibilities because with so many Aces in this reading, it's really the potential for things to completely be renewed in the mental body and in the emotional body, whether for you or your person. So your person is showing up as having total unconditional love for you. Uh, so if you are um, single, uh, the person that is about to come into your life with this Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Star is somebody very loving, maybe a water sign, another Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio and this person really will love you unconditionally and will be very, very honestly uh, in love with you, <laughs> right? Um, they have the the way they feel about you, the, the, the Queen of Cups and you have the Queen of Cups as well. So again, really might be a, a water sign, double water here. And this person is going to be extremely nurturing, extremely compassionate, um, very, very nurturing, very, very patient with you uh, if you are just starting uh, you know to come back into the idea of having a relationship again um, you know the way they think uh, of you is the five of swords the four of cups and the knight of uh, pentacles so your person uh, if it's a new person um, they might uh, be a bit conflicted in your in their mind as well uh, they might be coming out of a time where they were dis disengaged emotionally with the Four of Cups, but they are sturdy. They would want to take things very slow. Uh, with the Knight of Ariel, it's extremely solid. It's Earth element. It's very grounded energy, but they would want they would want to take things slow, and uh, they would want to uh, work on this. You know, really build something solid with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, the two of Michael is maybe they are at a stalemate as well in the way um, they feel about love as well. You have a similar energies in the way you think about love, as I said. Uh, this feeling of being a little bit in doubt uh, in your in your um, uh, in your mental body. However, they will be extremely solid. They have the nine of pentacles and the eight of uh, pentacles, so they will absolutely want to work on this. And they will be a uh, very independent, uh, very self-realized person, self-sufficient, and um, uh, very good on their own, you know, as a single person. And maybe that's why they will have a hard time uh, making a decision to completely, you know, um, commit all the way. But they will with the Ace of Cups. And they have also the Six of Gabriel and New Beginnings Judgment. So triumph, uh, victory, recognition. Uh, you are both here um, and judgment, new beginning, you new beginnings. Uh, so it's gonna be a new beginning for them as well. You know, it's also um, it's like they've been single for the lo longest time as well, and um, it's gonna be a new beginning for both of you. That is meant to really be uh, very successful here with the Six of Wands. If it's a person returning, uh, for those of you it's a, where it's a person returning, your person is absolutely head over heels in love with you. They really want to show you that they want a renewal of this love all the way with the Ace of Cups. Um, they want to nurture this as nobody's business with the Queen of uh, Cups. And you've both been nurturing this in your hearts. Absolutely. You both have the Queen of Cups. And um, your person might uh, still be conflicted in their mind with the five of Michael. They might be extremely uh, timid and uh, a little bit uh, still closed off in their feelings. Uh, they might be intimidating if you're coming back from a big se separation between you guys. And again, they would want to take things slow so that things are absolutely solid this time around with the Knight of Pentacles. Again, they are, you know, I see them as being single with the uh, Nine of Pentacles, really uh, self-sufficient, again, uh, self-realized, financially independent, 
they are very solid with this earth, uh, this, this earth energy and they are still a little bit unable to take a decision here again these doubts uh, that we see in the mental body because maybe due to a, a long separation but they absolutely want a new beginning and there's absolutely a new beginning in the cards here with the the three aces you know the ace of cups the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles renewal in the emotions in the mental body and in the physical and um these new beginnings here with judgment i mean this is phoenix rising up from the ashes absolutely something that felt uh, it was completely dead right rise um starting a new day a new incarnation starting a new life finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past absolutely uh and um i think uh for those of you who were in separation and this is uh, um, a connection that is coming back around this ha would have been a very long uh, spiritual journey for you guys each one on their own and now it's time for recognition for triumph for overcoming obstacles uh, with the six of wands it's triumph really so that's um, these are your steps let me get you a potential outcome for October So Pisces, you have the Empress, the Ten of Cups, wow, Death, and the Sun, oh my God, and the Four of Wands, wow, Pisces, so talk about infinite possibilities here, pure Potential, absolutely. So after this long transformation that happened um, with death, major arcana, card of Scorpio, this major transformation that happened around your love life or a specific relationship that we've been talking about. So this transformation, if you are single, this transformation happened, or like we said, uh, you are moving away from a time where you were single for a long time and not seeing yourself with another person at all. Well, this is transforming. And if you are in separation, it's the whole transformation that happened between you and your person while in separation. And now look at that. There's this absolutely promise of a new life, of abundance, of love. Again, Major Arcana, God of Libra and Taurus. It's about anchoring beauty, love and abundance into the physical. It's Venus ruled. It's absolutely this promise of abundance around your love life. It's all this beauty, uh, this life-giving force, this, ha, this these juices of life that are coming back around your love life or this specific relationship that is coming back healed and uh, look at that you have the sun and the ten of cups so wow again this life giving force you this joy this happiness all these obstacles whether you're single or this um uh, this connection coming back around, leaving all these up, these obstacles behind, and just uh, a new day. This beautiful uh, innocence of uh, childhood, this purity of the white horse, the sun shining on your love life again, life giving force, and the ten of cups. <laughs> so absolute blessing uh, on home life, on a family, on um, a couple, right? So, you know, a complete emotional satisfaction here. And you have the Four of Wands. <laughs> so beautiful, beautiful, cele beautiful celebration of love. Beautiful new foundation in love. Complete celebration. I mean, look at that. <laughs> the Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. So this is the infinite feel of possibilities in your love life here. Opening up to joy, to happiness, to absolute new perspective here new dimensions with the empress as well and death so this transformation being completed and this absolutely new day that is coming into your life whether you are single or if it's a relationship coming back around to be healed and to be uh, revisited here wow promise 
talk about a promise of happiness, of infinite possibilities, rainbow blessing, and a beautiful foundation and celebration of love. So wow, Pisces. I hope this helped, and I'll see you soon. Bye.